We're here with Rachel Martin. I'm the National Development Team. You shoot rifle, correct? Yes, I do. So how long have you been uh, shooting? I have been shooting for 15 years. So I started when I was eight years old and I'm 23 now. You started at eight years old. Yes, what did, did you shoot at eight years old? I was shooting uh, air rifle in 22 with my father. He's a big, big shotgun shooter. Um, and there was nobody to coach our 4-H rifle team. So he started and nobody was coming to practice. So he made me and my two sisters go. Um, and that's how I started. I hated it at first. It was not my thing. And then probably about 13, I really started to love it. Um, it's been a great way for my dad and I to connect. So sure. yeah, that's kind of how I started so young. And it doesn't hurt where you were from. It's yes, exactly. Uh, New Mexico is, I love that state. It's a, it'll always have a really special place in my heart. Um, they're very gun friendly and that's just kind of the atmosphere that I grew up in is guns are a part of a family. So you got involved with USA shooting? Yes, yes. So um, my senior year in high school, I made the US national junior team. We went overseas to the Czech Republic. I won a gold medal over there in um, women's 22 rifle. And then I just kept making teams. I won uh, 2015 NCAA championships when I was in college shooting for University of Nebraska. Uh, and then I just you know, continued to do it. I thought maybe I'd stop after I graduated from college, but I really still enjoy it and I wanted to keep going. So I kept requalifying for the team. And um, now I'm out at the Olympic Training Center living and training there um, with a bunch of my teammates and, and my new coach, Bob Both. And, uh, it's been really an amazing experience with USA Shooting. So. Your degree is very interesting. What is yes. your degree? Yes, so um, I kind of had a weird track. When I uh, went to school, I was for sure going to do fashion design. And that was my thing. I loved it. Um, but the first day in class, I did a, a class in fashion design. Hated it. was not my thing. So I decided to go into religious studies. Um, but my emphasis is in Islamic terrorism. So I'm very interested in national security um, and all that. So I, I would love to, you know, hopefully go into that field one day once I'm done with shooting. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm studying it. I'm getting my master's in criminal justice currently. It's really, that's an interesting and very, very current contemporary thing right, to exactly. be looking at. I, it's impressive. So what's happening now? What, what, what are you looking forward to at this point? Yeah, so um, for the next few years, I'm really focusing on shooting until 2020. Um, hoping and praying I qualify for the 2020 Olympics. Uh, we got a couple World Cups coming up. We've got uh, Guadalajara, and that's going to be in March. And then I go to South Korea in April to compete. Um, so for the next few years, it's just focusing on shooting, uh, qualifying for those matches, getting some more experience. Um, but I'd like to do some coaching in that time as well. I love coaching kids, and I think the youth of our sport are amazingly important. Um, so if I could do some stuff with them, that would be great. But after that, you know, who knows? Life will take a probably a different direction. I might keep shooting. I might try something new. Um, that's kind of where things are at right now. The hardest part about competitive shooting, or any competitive sport, it is the psychological part. Yes. And so you know, you can you can train. Uh, do you shoot every day? I do. About uh, how many six, rounds do you do a day? Oh, about it in a day. I probably do 150 to 200 rounds in each gun. Okay. Yeah. So. You've got a regimen, yes. it helps keep you sharp, and exactly. so on. It's one thing to be a good shooter. Right. It's a totally different thing to be a good competitive shooter. Right, exactly. So how do you deal with that? Uh, you know, I think um, there are a lot of, um, you know, you can do meditation, a lot of shooters do yoga to kind of deal with that, because you're right, it is very mentally stressful. Um, but I think at the end of the day, it really does come down to knowing who you are and what you want out of life. Um, how you see yourself is amazingly important in this sport. If you're struggling with something, if something's going wrong in your life, whether you know the, of the competitive nature or personal life, it's going to pop right up in a match. You're going to see yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's being strong in who you want to be, um, who you've been, knowing that. But also, you know, my faith is very important to me, and really sticking with that and knowing in that and growing in that um, has really helped me in the sport more than. I can even explain to anybody. It's been um, amazing, but that's yeah. It's it's pretty tough. It's it's not like you can just go to the gym and always like lift the weights and your brain yeah. muscles just grow. It's really something that's it's very internal. It's really hard 
to, to get that strong, um, but you know, it's, it's totally worth it, and you can see it in the scores with the shooters that really you know, put emphasis on that. I would think that the key to it is you have to be able, when something goes wrong, you have to be able to instantly just refocus. Yes. You have to just, whatever it is, just go, that was then, right. and just get right back to it. Yeah, I think um, a lot of mistake that some shooters make is, you know, it is a, a perfectionist sport. Um, they really want to be perfect. They go into a match saying, I cannot mess up. The reality is we're human. We're going to mess You're up. You're going to mess up. Exactly. Right, sure. So it's more about bringing it back. If you make a mistake, okay. Know, know enough to know what the mistake was and then fix it for the next shot. And you know what? To be honest, that's really hard because if you throw a six out there, you're like, oh, oh no. But yeah. to, to, I've seen some shooters, you know, throw, throw a zero out there for whatever reason and come back just nailing tens and you can just see their mental toughness really come through. So it's clearly not an inexpensive lifestyle. Do you, you have sponsors? I do, yes. Um, we have, USA Shooting has some great sponsors. We've got Ely, Peltor in there, um, Winchester. And then personally, I have Elite Shooting Sports. Uh, Joe Hine over in Montana runs a business and he's been amazing getting me gear, um, you know, servicing my guns whenever they need to be serviced. Because at the end of the day, even if I'm shooting great, if the gun doesn't work, that's a problem. Uh, so. You know, my job is to train and to work as hard as I can, and he is so great about getting me the equipment that I need. So he's been really amazing. Well, best wishes in South yeah. Korea. Thank you, thank you. Rachel Martin. I wish I could do that. I really <laughs> do. For SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.